So a few days ago, we got our first look at Leonardo DiCaprio and Martin Scorsese's new film, Killers of the Flower Moon, which they are currently filming. The image shows DiCaprio as Ernest Burkhardt, the morally ambiguous husband of Osage Native American wife, Molly Burkhardt. That was the first official image from the movie. But we now have a sneak peek at Robert De Niro in the film, as the villainous uncle of Ernest Burkhardt, William Hale. This is set to be the most despicable, inhumane character De Niro's ever played in a Scorsese film. For more information on the likes of Hale and Burkhardt, you can check out a couple of videos I've done on them on the channel. But there's also been some bad news about Robert De Niro and Killers of the Flower Moon. I'll get to that later, but the reason for this video is that I found one or two images online of Robert De Niro as William Hale on set, and here they are. These haven't been picked up by the mainstream media like the DiCaprio one. I know they're not official promotional images, so maybe that's why. But actually, while I was making this video, I noticed more and more people picking up on it, and it's starting to do the rounds online. I believe the image was taken by Tulsa World, a news outlet for the local area in Oklahoma. Further images from the shoot are most likely to come from them, which is a real shame for me because for some reason, as someone living in Europe, their website says I'm not allowed to access it. Anyway, what immediately comes to mind when I see this photo is one of the few photos available of the real-life William Hill staring to the left. It's such a coincidence that this photo aligns almost perfectly with the De Niro one. Hat, glasses and suit and all. It's almost like the pose is intentional, as if this is some kind of low-key secret marketing. You know, it's funny, in my previous video I mentioned how DiCaprio looks pretty similar in all of his Scorsese movies, but I was excited to see De Niro because he always has a very distinct look in Scorsese's films. You can immediately picture the different way his characters look in Cape Fear, Goodfellas, Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, you name it. But the funny thing is, he just looks like De Niro here. De Niro in a funny hat with specs. But I still like it, it's a good look, it's true to the real life character. There's also none of those tracking dots around his neck in sight, so hopefully this means we won't be seeing any CGI de-aging done in the film. He looks cool. The pinstrip suit and fedora looks good on him. In related news, it has been reported that De Niro has suffered a leg injury during the production of Killers of the Flower Moon and he's had to fly back from Oklahoma to New York to receive medical attention. He incurred a quadricep muscle injury whilst at his location home in Oklahoma, but apparently, unlike the insinuations of the clickbait headlines a lot of the press are going for, the injury did not actually occur during filming or on set of the movie. It has nothing to do with Killers of the Flower Moon. So maybe he just fell down the stairs or strained reaching for the remote or something. So another lengthy delay for filming of Killers of the Flower Moon, perhaps? Well, not quite, because Deadline reported that a member of De Niro's team said that the actor was not scheduled to film again for another three weeks, so the production of the film won't be affected. That all will continue as normal, and De Niro will supposedly be back in time to shoot his next scenes. Apparently, he was scheduled to head home to New York anyway. I'm not so sure on that. I wonder. Bit of a coincidence, isn't it, that he flies back for medical aid and it just so happens that he wasn't going to be shooting for three weeks anyway? Three weeks is a long time to be a major supporting character, being a big actor with a big hefty paycheck and just sitting around and not being utilised. Maybe it's De Niro's PR team doing their thing. Then again, it is scheduled to be the longest shoot of Martin Scorsese's career, and he isn't the main character in the film, and it does seem to be a huge and complex production. So I'm sure there will be times where De Niro isn't needed, especially seeing as though his character is absent throughout good chunks of the book. Good thing he decided to get injured when he did then, I guess. There's no word on the severity of the injury, nor how long it'll take for him to recover. A few other photos from the shoot are available online, most of them showing actors dressed up in period costumes, retro cars being placed around the set and dirt added to the roads to make it more appropriate for the time period. A lot of the actors are wearing their masks as they wait around for filming to begin, and one of the images, as you can see, includes the legend Martin Scorsese himself. To keep up to date with the production of Killers of the Flower Moon, consider subscribing to the channel, and thanks for watching.